Now, when we think about annotation, I think our mind typically goes straight to things like text and dimensions, and we'll certainly talk about that. But I think an equally important part of really the overall annotation strategy of any drawing is blocks with attributes. And the sample drawing that I have here is no different. In fact, if we take a look at each of the doorways, uh, as is typical in an architectural plan, we have a block with attributes labeling each of the door types. So this one is a door type three. And if we take a look at my properties palette over here on the right hand side, you can see all of the attributes right there. Um, likewise, if you don't have your properties palette up, I personally prefer keeping mine up on the right hand side, but you can always open that up just by right clicking anywhere in the drawing and clicking on properties and that will open that palette up for you right there. You can dock it wherever you please. I like to keep it on the right hand side. So we can of course update block attributes by using the properties palette directly. However, while we can do that, what I find most people do is they double click on the block attribute and this brings up the enhanced attribute editor dialog. And while this is certainly a good dialog, and of course, if I'm making several modifications to this, probably the better way to do things. But oftentimes I don't need to modify all of these attributes. I just need to make a simple update and I'd like to maybe modify it like a regular piece of text. So how can I do that? Is that so much to ask? I don't think so. So here's the tip. If all you need to do is make a very simple update to one piece of text in a, a attributed block, press and hold your control key and then double click on the text that you'd like to modify. So notice that the text and just the text, not the entire block versus if I let go of the control key and I hover over it, notice the entire block sort of highlights. If I press and hold the control key, however, it just highlights the text right there. So that is the operative thing here. So pressing and holding control, I'm just going to double click on that number three and maybe I want to change this to a type four door. So just like that, we can go ahead and change that. I'll click out of that and that attribute has been updated to a number four in this case. So super easy peasy, right?